एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स मिनिस्टर डॉक्टर एस जयशंकर ही सेट द रिकॉर्ड स्ट्रेट इंडिया डज नॉट नीड सर्टिफिकेशन फ्रॉम द वेस्ट इंडिया डज नॉट नीड सर्टिफिकेशन फ्रॉम एनजीओ इंडिया डज नॉट नीड सर्टिफिकेशन फ्रॉम वेस्टेड इंटरेस्ट एज क्लियर एज दैट दिस इज a new india and he said this at the india today conclave south i will get you details because remember there have been a series of reports first that came from freedom house then that came from weedem institute that either seem to downgrade india's democracy the question that needs to be asked is who are they to downgrade india's democracy what are their credentials on what parameters have they done that two who are they to say that we are a electoral autocracy which he said the external affairs minister you just heard him a short while back uh, and you will hear him in greater detail on india today where he says that this is a dichotomy all that this is truly is hypocrisy let's listen and he spoke exclusively to india today's news director rahul kamal at the india today conclave south ye aap kis desh ki baat kar rahe ho ye kaun si desh ki baat kar rahe ho democracy india ki baat kar rahe ho india mein koi democracy nahi hai India partly free US think tank India downgraded to electoral autocracy Swedish institute The twin claims were rubbished by none other than Minister of External Affairs S J Shankar who chose the India Today conclave south platform Look at the politics of these places I mean uh what about you might say i mean in this country nobody questions an election can you say that in those countries jay shankar's reaction was first ever from the modi government he slammed the international reports and added that india doesn't need a certificate from foreign countries to prove how strong its democracy is i am i am quite self assured i don't need certification from outside certainly not from people who clearly have an agenda to drive he further called these reports hypocritical and asserted india is safe in modi government's hands it's hypocrisy because you have a set of self appointed custodians of the world who find it very difficult to stomach that somebody in india is not looking for their approval they invent their rules their parameters pass their judgments and then make out as though this is some kind of global exercise foreign affairs minister also hailed modi government's nationalism and vaccination diplomacy we are the nationalist guys we have given vaccines to 70 countries in the world so tell me the internationalist countries how many vaccines have they given the india today interview created ripples with union minister prakash jawrekar quoting the conversation on twitter louding jay shankar and calling it an apt answer to anti india forces what is also significant is rahul gandhi's comment coming at an important juncture up the narendra modi government has also hit back but it's not just the tutu meme which is happening right now but also the fact that the indian government seems to be doing much more on the ground but it is also the timing of the election which seems to have hurt the interest of the government at this point Days ago, Congress MP Rahul Gandhi had claimed India is no longer a democratic country. He was quoting media reports on Swedish Institute's democracy report that downgraded India. Bureau Report, India Today. This country, nobody questions an election. Can you say that in those countries? Joining me on India First is Shutur Oppa, spokesperson for the Bharatiya Janata Party. Anshul Avijit is a spokesperson of the Congress Party. Ambassador Vishnu Prakash, a, a former ambassador and diplomat, will join us in a moment from now. But Anshul Avijit, you heard the External Affairs Minister. He said, "We are a self-assured country. We do not need certification from vested interests." Is that an apt response, sir? and in your appreciation should rahul gandhi also have refrained from quoting these ngo reports and saying that there is no democracy in india um you know it, it saddens me to say uh, gorov that uh, the foreign minister has always had some this kind of a disproportionate 
an almost infantilized response to anything that comes from different parts of the world. Rihanna tweeted, Greta tweeted, and you had this kind of highly puerile response from the MEA. It's really unbecoming of them because it's, it's a fine institution. He's a fine minister. I mean, I think he was one of the more inspired choices of the Modi Sarkar. Um, you know, he, he's had a good track record. It's a fine institution that he represents. And to say this, I'm not quite sure. Now, let's look at the realities which have happened here. Um, it's not just about what he said or the credibility of the institutions. I think what is happening here, the way civil liberties are being uh, curbed, uh, let's discuss the nature of the democracy and the hallmarks of what is called a liberal democracy before we turn to the critique of it. I think the fact that he's called this uh, comment hypocrisy itself is hypocrisy. It's the irony of all ironies because suddenly you have a situation where you applaud many of the statements from different parts of the world okay. where you have people saying the ease of doing business, India is doing great, it's come uh, up a couple of notches and the prime minister lodged this in his speech. When other kind of clapping comes from the rest of the world, you can hardly contain your excitement. When the IMF says that India is going to grow by 11% um, uh, in, in this uh, growth year, then you say that, well, it's, it's great. By the way, there was a study conducted by the IMF in the IMF which refuted its own figures. And otherwise, in here, right now, when the world comments on the nature of your democracy, okay. which I'll come to in a minute, here you say that, no, 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 actually, this is not correct. I mean, the, you're being selected. Shutaropa, you're being please respond. You heard no. Anshul yeah, Abhijit. Yeah, He's of, very clear. Of, uh, He's very clear. Thank you for having me Calling show, that report of, hypocrisy is hypocrisy. Slightly. My name is Shotarupa, not Shutarupa. So uh, please allow me to correct you there. Uh, I'm, I've been listening with an uh, incredible amount of impatience. Uh, this man, this gentleman on your show is constantly downgrading an honorable minister of uh, Indian government. And why? Because he is standing up for his own government. I mean, is that such a big crime? S. Jai Shankar has very categorically called a spade a spade. We are not saying that we do not need anybody. He is just saying that as far as the democracy is concerned, the, this statement has been on the democracy. They are saying that, you know, we are we are an electoral what autocracy or something that this uh, this report has been saying. Now that speaks about us, our, our, the people of India. The democracy that India is proud to boast of okay. is, is a democracy where we form a government of the people, by the people, and, you know, it, it's of its the entire the people of India, which is being insulted uh, by, by this uh, Swedish NGO. Okay. They are questioning an electoral process, which has been a seasoned process for the last, uh, ever since uh, 1950, where we've, since we had the Constitution of India. The so this point is not that correct. is being raised. This, the, okay. the gentleman is saying that, you know, we, we've been, we are very happy with, uh, uh, with, with, the, with our foreign policy when the other... Uh, uh, agencies are, are commending, are, uh, are uh, complementing our trade policy, are uh, easy to uh, invest uh, in nature of the country. Everything is fine. But this particular statement, which Jai Shankar has called absolute, has negated so beautifully, so so emphatically. Give me a moment. Let me also bring in, uh, you country. know, let me also bring in Ambassador Vishnu Prakash. Ambassador Vishnu Prakash, the Congress says when the world lords India, or says the IMF says we'll grow at 11%. Everyone in the government is so happy and they tom tom it. But when either Freedom House or We Dem Institute say that uh, we are either partly a democracy or an electoral auto autocracy, we hit out at these organizations. So are we are we being very choosy here? Ambassador Vishnu Prakash, can you hear me? Let me take a moment and re-establish that link with... Uh, Ambassador, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so the question I asked you was, Ambassador, the Congress party says, if the IMF says India will grow at 11%, we are very excited about it. If a foreign uh, organization lords India, the government tom toms it. But if a foreign organization criticizes India, we hit out at that organization. Uh, it, and is this, is this our hypocrisy, sir? Well, uh, it depends on whom we are talking of. If, he, if somebody is comparing IMF with uh, this V Institute, then I don't have to say anything further. Uh, when we are talk I think the reference is to the, v the Swedish V Institute, correct? Yes, Weedem and Freedom House, both, sir. 
That is correct. Now let's talk of Swedish V Institute for a moment. You know, if you uh, just lift the wheel and see who are behind it, uh, it is uh, it has an international advisory board, which is uh, where one of the prominent members is uh, uh, it, it is Az Ahsan, who is the senior advocate of the Supreme Court of Pakistan and was a Minister of Interior and Minister of Law and Justice. Now he is one of the on, uh, senior members of the advisory board. It is an institute which was set up seven years ago, which has only ca Caucasians as the member, essentially. And it's a country of uh, one 10 million people with $50,000 per capita. Now, if we want to say that a Scandinavian country with, uh, with uh, uh, one crore people can uh, decide on India's democracy, I've got nothing else to say. Well, let me give you an example of the quality of human rights that uh, our friends in Scandinavia talk of at the highest respect. But in July 2011, we remember that a Norwegian extremist had killed 77 innocent people. Yes. On uh, Anders uh, Breivik. And he is not repentant. The court gave him a sentence of 21 years in prison, fewer than four months per victim. He lives in a prison with, which is a three uh, cell suite and he complains of the size of the TV and internet. Now, if this is the kind of freedom and democracy that our Scandinavian friends want us to have, I would uh, politely decline. Uh, we are the largest democracy in the world. We are a, a multicultural, multi-religious society. And I, we are proud of our democracy. I don't think we need to have take lessons from anybody Anshul on how Avijit, to govern a country. Anshul Avijit, which is this organization? What are their credentials? What are the benchmarks? What are the, who are the people they've spoken to? Have they spoken to the same group of, of perhaps 40, 50, 70 people who either return awards or write uh, uh, an open letter to the Prime Minister uh, every time from an uh, anti-CA protest uh, to, to uh, intolerance rising? We do not know. They must know. be the Tukre Tukre gang. Okay, okay. The BJP calls them a part of the Tukre Tukre gang. But we do not know. On, a, on the world's largest democracy, the most vibrant democracy. Look at the election that's happening in Bengal, even as you and I speak. If this is not democracy, what else is, Anshul? And why should Gaurav? we listen to some Nambi Pambi organization uh, uh, exactly, you know, to talk Gaurav. about India? Exactly. I think, Gaurav, Gaurav, you're missing the substantive point here. Instead of chasing ghosts and looking after the, you know, going into the credentials of these organizations, Why I don't not? know as much about Why them as, not? The, as, as Anshul, the next the person. Why not? The point that Ambassador Vishnu Prakash raises, is, permit me, democracy. permit me. No, no, it no, has yeah, a Pakistani a on board. Point, it yeah. has a Pakistani on board. It also no, has no, no, elements no, no, of the Chinese know, establishment on board, we are told. Why would such an organization be taken on face value? So, so I want to look at the nature of Indian democracy for which these comments are being made. Through, the, through, the, the, eyes, through the jaundiced now, eye of these elements? Uh, let's look at the nature of Anshul, Indian democracy. Anshul, forgive me, forgive me, Anshul. Actually, they uh, are going up with you, may allow me to... Ma'am, kindly let me finish this point, I'll come to you. The BGP is not letting me at least complete my sentence. Yes. I'd just like to say that slowly, slowly, people are reflecting on the nature of Indian democracy all over the world. Look at these signs. Don't look at the credentials. Fine, you can critique them. You do it ad nauseum. I'm not stopping you. Look at their uh, credentials, critique them, critique their members. But do look at the nature of Indian democracy, which is slowly, slowly turning into some kind of a nightmarish or villain state, which is curbing civil right, liberties, kind of which people. is clamping individual sovereignty, which is going after people who on toolkit conspiracy theories, no, criminalizing no, no, no. protests, going after minorities, all the benchmarks of Nobody democracy. What after all? Okay, okay Shantaru, so please respond. Gaurav of a liberal democracy. Gaurav, what this are they? Is Let's ridiculous. count them one I mean, by one. He is, he is living in some and fool's paradise, point. which is Madam, created by somebody as being my sentence. Rahul Gandhi, Gandhi who, who feels nasty beyond his own Ma family, who, who thinks the entire... Uh, I'm you know, very happy to respond to you to allow me to complete my sentence and my point. Gaurav, you spoke about electoral democracy. Of course, Indian democracy is something that is a part of the entire world. This is ridiculous. One by one, one by one, one by one. So you raise the issue of a toolkit. You raise the issue of a toolkit. Let me bring in Ambassador Vishnu Prakash once again. Why? 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 But that's the problem. One by one. Why? 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 Why
as if the clockwork of politics and democracy one by one okay what about let me one by one ma'am ma'am kindly permit kindly permit mr vijit to finish his sentence i'm not being able to hear myself if he's going to keep on talking to the show yes so let me bring in let me as both of you take a step back ma'am Yes. Let me let me bring in Ambassador Vishnu Prakash. Ambassador Vishnu Prakash, Anshul Avijit of the Congress raises the issue of the toolkit, the manner in which Government of India came down heavily uh, on the toolkit and those elements. Uh, you know, again the point he raised about India reacting to Rehana's uh, and uh, Greta Thunberg's. Also, Anshul, I believe you missed out on Mia Khalifa and her credentials uh, <laughs> also to raise the issue, sir. But uh, Ambassador, Let's not if I, it. I mean, I, I made the point. Yes, uh, Gaurav, sir. Oh, absolutely. Uh, which is a rather substantive need, and a uh, highly yeah. significant point, uh, uh, sir. Ambassador, wow. so that that reflects that how government of India cracks down, uh, you know, on on the Rehanas and Greta Thunberg's and Mia Khalifa's. Well, uh, you know, we all know about how and how the different political parties have administered the country. I do not like getting into that. All, uh, if one turns a searchlight inwards, one knows that in different pa times of the uh, of our history, of independent history, there have been aberrations. I have never said our democracy is perfect. But the question is, who has corrected the aberration? The system within our country has corrected the aberrations. The media has, the political leaders have. So, uh, and then we are a very large country with multiplicity of viewpoints. Uh, Gaurav, you give me one proposition and I will go to people who will support that proposition. Does it reflect the mainstream opinion? Other point is that there is a vested interest in in uh, down in criticizing India, in kind of looking down upon India, and who are doing it? It is some group of Western countries. Now, some of these worthies I, uh, or so-called public, public figures who have criticized India. I don't think uh, on the agricultural reform, I don't think they are the foggiest of ideas of what is going on. Oh, absolutely. Now, what did we do? We did not name anybody. The Ministry of External Affairs set the record straight. Why not? Yeah, about vested interests from outside, I would like to add that there are several people who have vested interests right inside India. And that is what hurts India the most, because India has still not managed to become united. You okay. know, outside factors we can handle, but the inside factors, there are parties and there are people who are so willing, who are so excited, who would want to, who are so enthusiastic about trying to break India from within. That is what Use I the anti-sedition law the against them, ma'am. You, you have a powerful weapon. Use, you weaponize all your agencies, your, all your laws against them. Really? I, that's my advice and you to people you. have done nothing so far. No, no, but you, that's, we, that's my advice that. to you. Please we weaponize the all your weapons, people. all the who institutions the of the state, and go after such people who are trying Anshu, to defame India Anshu, and trying to you, critique you, the government. No, you're talking in circles. We have not done anything which is against India. And when Anshu, you if I may, if I may, in a democracy, family, if the executive never, steps out never, of line, uh, the there is, there is a legislature and a judiciary. In this case, the judiciary has set things right. That is how a democracy works. That's point right one. Point two. One I think, no, no, Gaurav. I, I, that, I, I, you know, in, in that. case of that 21-year-old uh, climate activist, a climate activist who incidentally is working for a cause which goes against the interest of climate of Punjab and Haryana. But be that as it may, if that climate activist, no, 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 if no, no, action no, no, was taken the against the climate activist, court set the record no, straight. that did not happen. I do not agree uh, with you. Gaurav, let me respond to that. You made an important you point. Like to uh, Gaurav, let me just, okay. Ma'am, just allow me to respond to that important point yes, that please. Gaurav has made. The purpose of this anti-sedition law, or whatever, I, uh, 124, um, you know, A of the IPC, is not justice in the sense that not uncovering the truth. The ambitions of the law has been fulfilled the moment it has been enacted and the purpose, uh, person has been arrested and harassed. The head is on the stake. It is a warning to the others. They don't care whether the truth comes out or not. Let them languish in jail as under trials till four years later, five years later. But You're that did not happen. Are we fear-mongering fear in this particular Gaurav, case? I'm, I'm cases, very specifically on this case. Since I have the last 30 seconds on the show, again on vaccine, Maitri, uh, if I may, Ambassador, India has made a very important point. We don't want the West pontificating when it's India that's given out, uh, you know, the doses, vaccine doses to 70 countries. Countries and these so-called liberal Western democracies Absolutely. who are pontificating, they are the ones who are uh, practicing vaccine nationalism and also opposing India at WTO. 
and have yeah. you heard a word about uh, Indian uh, vaccine Maitri from any of these verdis? They will keep Absolutely. quiet. Absolutely. They will exactly develop what, amnesia. Yes. They, they will start criticizing and running down the vaccine, but they will try to corner the vaccine. I mean, look at the predictions that was made about India by these same organizations. Yes. When Prime Minister declared a lockdown, they said that hundreds of thousands of people will die. I mean, yeah. today India has emerged the tallest. I am, I am not saying that we have not lost Absolutely. lives. Even one life lost is a life too many. But we have handled it in a manner in Far which better than anybody few countries else. have. So everybody is quiet. Okay. There is, let's recognize it, there is an agenda. When India stands tall, people, some yeah. people, not all, are concerned. We should see through their game, not play their game. Okay, exactly. I will let exactly. that be the last exactly. word on the show. I've run out of time on this part of the show, but Thank this is so one much, debate Sarah. which we will continue to have over the next several days and weeks because internally we may have any issues and we'll fight amongst ourselves. Absolutely. But externally, when there are outside forces out to bring us down, can India not present a united face as we take on these vested exactly. interests? Can we not keep India first always and every time? To all my guests, Anshul Avijit, Shutur Rupa and Ambassador Vishnu Prakash, many thanks for joining me. A quick break. There's lots more coming up on the other side of these messages. Keep watching India Today. Hello everyone. This is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.